Well, you know, this better than anyone. A new distillery opens on average about every six months in Minnesota. And today, 16 are part of the Minnesota Distillers Guild. This evening, you can sample products from all of those 16 in one beautiful setting at the Minnesota Spirits Fest inside the Museum of Russian Art and the site of Mike's Mix this week. What a gem this place is. It is um, a beautiful space to walk into. It's a wonderful size of a, a museum where you can tour it in maybe an hour. You're excused if you've driven past this former church on Diamond Lake Road near 35W and never stopped in. Michelle Massey says she hears that a lot. But inside this Spanish mission style building is the only museum of its kind in North America a soaring multi-level space to display a mix of permanent and rotating Russian art installations. Well, our founders, Ray and Susan Johnson, are Minnesota people, and they began by collecting a lot, uh, thousands of, of Russian uh, works. Currently, the exhibition on view in the main gallery is called Art and Conflict. So artists that were living and breathing in the same time in uh, the Soviet Union making either state-sanctioned work or completely underground provocative work. It's a really wonderful opportunity to learn about the culture of Russian people. The museum also provides a chic, unique backdrop for Minnesota distillers of craft spirits to display their art. Not only is the liquid inside gorgeous, the bottles are gorgeous, the labels are gorgeous, and what people realize is that truly is the definition of our craft. Gina Holman of the Distillers Guild told me that tonight's Minnesota Spirits Fest is your chance to sample from all of the Guild's distilleries. So 16 total, all of the guests will be able to taste spirits neat, will actually have little samples of cocktails. And this is an exciting time for Locavores because Minnesota whiskeys are starting to flow. Many of the distilleries started out with clear spirits. And then when we're distilling our whiskey, we put them in virgin oak barrels, whiskey barrels. And really, for us to create our straight rise, our straight bourbons, and even for our brandy, some of the brandies take two and three years. Tonight, you'll find old standbys and relative newcomers. We're super excited to have Michelle, a woman owned distillery in Minneapolis, here displaying her vodka and her rum. And then we have Damp Works out of St. Louis Park their barrel gin, and then their apple brandy. Music and all that stuff DJ, too. and then food that will be uh, catered in from Certix. Just dress up a little bit, and, and we'll love seeing everybody here. Okay, so we were afraid this was going to happen uh -huh. after I did that story. They sold out for tonight. Uh, it's still, well, uh, Minnesota Spirits are still a worthwhile mm -hmm. thing to track. And also, you can always go to the Museum of Russian Art, which is beautiful. In fact, I posted at WCCO's uh, Facebook page Great. an extended look at the museum itself. So you can head there and watch that right now. Wonderful. Well, are you 